Okay, welcome everyone to Blaze Angel 2014's interview, new interview series, and I'm here with Vic Star and his amazing staff team. Hello. 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 So, Vic, what? I must ask you first. How did you become a famous YouTuber? Uh. Like, how did you? Um. Start? So, basically. And my friends were, yeah, me and my friends, uh, well, my friends at school, they started making videos like standard definition capture cards, whatever, putting them on YouTube. And I saw it and I was like, that's kind of cool. I want to get involved and uh, started it off with them, just messing around making videos. Suddenly people started watching them. And I was like, oh, well, I should uh, take this seriously. And then I did. And now I'm here. Yeah, please. Wow, I, I wish I was that fast. <laughs> oh. No, it took, it took uh, probably... Uh, three and a half years from uh, the beginning to where I am now and that's of doing it seriously about four and a half years um, from when I actually like physically started okay so next question is how did you react when you um, were invited probably to join your first youtubers like how did you get to know all the youtubers um so really um I know so so many youtubers it's uh I don't know where to begin, but you know, first of all, it, it was mostly through. Uh, at first, it'd be YouTube messaging people and asking them if they wanted to work together on a video, dual commentate something along those lines. Then Twitter came along, and just um, you know, you'd follow people, speak to them, uh, collaborate with them on videos, that kind of stuff. And then meeting people in events, uh, at events in real life, was another way of uh, meeting people, other YouTubers. Okay, so got a question for the staff team: How's being staff for Vic, and also just being staff? Uh, so I'll take it. <laughs> Jake, you want this? <laughs> nope, Jake's hiding. I was kind of thinking. Um, it's fun at times. Other times it can be very stressful uh, due to the fact that obviously answering so many questions a day, uh, repeating those questions. Um, but, I mean, overall, I mean, it's an amazing, got an amazing community here that we're uh, working with and obviously uh, helping uh, to run a, a decent server for pretty much everyone. So I mean, overall, I would say it's good. It's got a stressful times, but uh, overall, I would uh, I would say it's uh, it's quite a good little job. So which what do you do with those applications? Because I hear you guys um, were talking to Vasa, and he wanted to be a YouTuber rank. Um yeah, the the YouTuber rank is uh, what is basically in game is the VIP rank. Um, which for that obviously you need to have 10,000 subscribers or uh, we, we we're quite lenient it's not a it's not a hard detail it's kind of like a soft application for for that bit um, you don't actually need that many but as long as you're hitting like a good fair amount of daily views and your, your subscriber count is somewhat near to what we uh, require and the content is different good, yeah and the content of course we can't just uh, let people have the rank and obviously potentially not uh, help out the server and upload videos and they value your quality um, and with the moderator uh, ranks, uh, myself, Moody, um, and Gaming Geek, Matt Monkey, Mule, um, we all deal with the uh, applications. Applications are looked at daily, but uh, you won't actually know if you've got through to the application process until one of us adds you on Skype or talks to you uh, over an email. And basically, it's two weeks from the day that you apply. If you don't hear a reply back within two weeks, then basically you haven't made the cut this month. You can also you can always try that again next month. Yeah, I should point out that obviously we don't want to get a massive amount of mods initially. Once we start to expand out a bit more, we'll definitely get some more mods in. But at the moment, we don't want to make the mod group massive. While we're only running survival games, we don't want to have a group that we can't always talk to and reach. Sure, for uh, sure. Yeah. So, firstly, what do you guys think of Vic's videos? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Vic makes videos? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wasn't. E I wasn't even aware of this. Look, can you link me YouTube? YouTube? What's YouTube? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I must admit, I've I've watched Vic's videos. I'm not. I used to watch, obviously, when he started off making the COD videos. But I've, I've pretty much moved over to his Minecraft channel um, due to the fact that I'm kind of very much into the Hunter games and how it runs. And obviously, been watching his videos, picking up uh, his tips and tricks on how he uh, plays out, and it's helped me out quite a bit. Yeah. The scumbag in SGA, can't it? <laughs> <laughs> it I don't know where you got that one from. It, it does help. <laughs> yeah, everyone's the same. I always played Hunger Games with Jake a lot, and I was quite terrible at it initially, but I sort of watched Vic's videos, just learned where chess were, that sort of thing. And there was just like the list of them. Yeah. <laughs> I came into this not knowing any questions to say, so I, you had to forgive me for having to think about this. Um, dang it. 
So, <laughs> <Luke>. <laughs> I don't have Mhm. Mm what country do you live in? Like, I, I, that was the first thing I could get on my mind. England. England. <laughs> As, uh... <laughs> yeah. Other than, uh, Unk, we are all UK based, do yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we do have, we have one mod that I believe is in the USA at the minute. Um, mm -hmm. but we're still in the process of, like, sifting through all the uh, applications at the minute. Most of them seem to be like, under the age. Uh, we did yeah. use that. We had the applications currently held at 13, but we had a few immature mods that we had to uh, derank. Um, so we've we've raised that uh, limit from uh, from 13. obviously 13 to 15, so that uh, we can hopefully sift through. And obviously, we're looking for like an all-round spread for time zones. So when the UK guys are asleep and the US guys could be awake, or when the US guys are like, because I have some guys on from obviously Switzerland, Netherlands, Germany, and all those sorts of places, kind of trying to get trying to fill up the time zone. So there's at least one mod or admin on the server at any time. Okay. It just takes time. Did it ever cross through your mind that you might need a mod that has multiple languages known? Because there might be those people that are like Japanese that might come on server stuff like that. Um. It could come. It could come to the point where that is, but due to the fact that Vic's audience is mainly U yeah. US, UK based, nine times out of ten people, people are going to be English speaking, um, and Vic obviously is English speaking himself, so we wouldn't really run into that problem too often. But it could be something that could be handy a little bit later on in life. That's cool. Plus the server, yeah, server itself is EU based, so oh. you're probably seeing one from Japan was coming on. Okay. I mean, you know. Fans of it mainly, so if they can't understand English, they can't really watch his videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're really like, just, 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 yeah. you're gonna have to pay someone to do subtitles, <laughs> like the closed captions. The video and you're like, Wait, um, what's he saying? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but I like this guy's accent. <laughs> <laughs> so Vic, how did that last death feel? That last death in yeah. the game. I just, put, um, yeah. When you just yeah, um, that yeah, that that sucked. <laughs> it was it was a it was a good fun double team. Um, got one on fire, killed the other. Go but, sheriff. Uh, couldn't finish the job. Kill him, sheriff. You got this. He was too busy trying to pick up gear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he has TNT. So many loots. Oh God, he has TNT. So um, wow, I can't think of any questions. Um. Do all so you all communicate with Vic often, have fun with him, Hunger Games, stuff like that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Nah, we all just hate him. <laughs> <laughs> so, question for Vic What's your favorite minigame? Um, it would have to be either Hunger Games or Battle Dome, one of the two. Um, okay. Just PvP stuff is always fun. Um, so, yeah. Ah, uh, no, I'm, I'm not so much of a fan of that, actually, as it turns out. Oh, yeah. I like the other versions better, personally. Well, this is my interview. So, um, <laughs> let's think. This question for all the ad staff and stuff. How are you doing today? <laughs> doing pretty well. <laughs> Can't say I'm not. <laughs> Did it? Wonderful. It's just us to electric. It is. Okay, that's it. Die. So I guess this is just a question that came up to my mind. What? Oh, oh my god! What? The f that just scared the crap out of me! <laughs> what what I, I, I killed. I killed Muir, and, and there was a big TNT explosion, oh. and bats right, came flying out of his body. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was OP. <laughs> yeah, I need to de up myself when all this happens. He was here, Brian. I, he must have been here, Brian. <laughs> Due to a technicality, I am actually the Herobrine. What? <laughs> oh my god, I'd be scared if I knew that wasn't true. So... What makes you think it's not? I don't know. I fancy you're Scottish. <laughs> but Herobrine might be Scottish, you don't know that. <laughs> he doesn't have a voice, so yeah. Yeah, I've never heard Herobrine talk. You have no. <laughs> I don't think people will be afraid of it here, Ryan, anymore. Now that he talks. Oh, but I still kill people. <laughs> Very terrible, Blake. If you're here, Brian, why are you terrible at Hunger Games? <laughs> he has got a point. So, but any more I, questions? I'm undercover. Oh, I guess I have to think of some. I mean, I came to this not knowing just a random 
shot it in, and... Have you got enough content now? Because some of those answers are quite long. You should be sorted, shouldn't you? Yeah. Almost. Uh, I wonder if everyone would want this question. Do you like My Little Pony? I don't know. Uh, can't say here. Can't say Oh yeah, I love My Little Pony. Like, it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, just having all the all the uh, episodes and DVD counts as being a fan. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any yeah, questions about? Like, do you, have, do you have any questions about the future of the server or anything like that? Oh yeah, um, what do you plan anything, on doing with anything. the server? Are you going to make... Is there a survival area for just survival and are you going to make factions? Yeah. Alright, so that's our next plan. Yeah, I think the next thing, as Vic was saying, uh, I think after we get down and obviously we sort out all of the kinks and bugs that we've got currently with the survival games, I think we, I think we said we agreed that we are going to move into factions next. And then, uh, obviously, from factions, we can we can move on and see uh, what we can do from that. But I mean, we're we're talking to a few people, trying to get a few exclusives to uh, mods, maps, and all those sort of things. So hopefully, try and bring uh, some unique ability to the uh, servers. Did you think of the money plugin, like where you get money? Uh, well, I mean, we've got we've got a plugin for uh, obviously stats on in game at the minute. Um, yeah. Could that be something that we move into later on? Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit. Something like obviously to do within the hub. Um, maybe have points carry over to there. Yeah, yeah. Just I guess I'll finish off this interview with: Are you going to make a creative server, like, um, like a creative area where people just uh, build creative things? It was, it was one thing we were thinking of. Um, obviously, with creative servers, they can get kind of very stressful on CPU. Yeah. Um, um, and obviously. Obviously, RAM usage. So what we were thinking of maybe doing is maybe making like a forty to fifty slot server. Um, obviously, donators would get a plot, whereas non-donators wouldn't get a plot on there at all. What they would do is they would just be able to walk around and have a look at everyone's creations and sort of move onwards from there. Um, obviously, it wouldn't be a high slot server due to the fact that creative can get very very stressful with a lot of people building at the same time. And obviously, they've got endless amount of ability of what they can build. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything. Everything's a possibility at the moment. We only just started doing this, so we'll see, yeah, I mean, see where the, the things go from here. Up, the server's coming up to around about two and a half, three weeks old. Obviously, we had a, we had a few yeah. bits of delayed downtime. So if we take back the downtime that we had, probably only around about coming up to about two weeks um, in. So we're sort of so we're everything's sort of, being discussed. Everything really. is a big possibility. Everything yeah. is being spoken about, and yeah. everything could be a major possibility. Okay, well, thank you for the interview, and I hope you all enjoyed all you viewers uh, interviewing Vic and all the staff of this wonderful server and so mm -hmm. I guess I'll end it off there with this wonderful group of people uh, let's look at this Moody, Sheriff, Vic and other people <laughs> <laughs> oh, <and> other people, <laughs> like, yes. Oh, nice. All the rest of the admin, oh, thanks, and admins thanks, and yeah, mods. I'll, I'll name, I'll name through it. We've got Vicstar, we've got Amy, which is ACS Magpie, we've got Muir, we've got the Gaming Geek, Onkhart, Moodyator, Sheriff Woody, Vicstar123, and Tristan, which is Taggart in Game, who is our developer for the plugin. Okay, so Yay. let's end off the interview here. Have a nice day, everyone. <laughs>